it really belongs to that whole community in Malibu. So I just face it towards you guys. Thank you, SEMA committee and, um, and board, and Nancy and Sister Rose. Um, it's quite an honor to be here. Uh, Brian's right, I am not Catholic, and, um, but I feel very much a part of this community and a part of this church. And um, I actually came to the project through uh, St. Francis, of all people. I um, was doing a project on St. Francis, uh, a short art film, and uh, that project got me introduced to the committee. And, they asked how I would tell this story, and uh, I told them that I think it's not really for me to tell. I think it's for the community to tell. And um, you know, they say that it takes a village to make a film with a character as big as Monsignor's is more like a city or a country. And uh, we really did go all over the country uh, doing interviews for people's lives that he had touched, because the story of Monsignor is a story of everybody and how he touched everybody. So. Um, we interviewed almost about 30 people from California, from Malibu, from downtown, from New York City, um, people that had connected with him in Ireland, and they really told the story. I was just kind of given a little house in that village, and I'm very thankful for that, and I just did my part in bringing all these stories together. So I think the community, for, first and foremost, really needs to give themselves a round of applause because they took the time out of their busy schedules to come in and be interviewed. So thank you. Um, the OLM board was, of course, Brian Oppenheimer, and Jim Zadalokin, Bruta Villasis, and Paul Contino, who is not here. Um, they were instrumental in the whole project. Um, you know, we'd give, in film, everything's a process. And you're only as good as your producers in a lot of ways. And sometimes producers are really great, and other times they're not, and you're fighting. And this is a situation where the producers were absolutely incredible and really empowered me as a filmmaker to go out there and, and realize this vision. So um, I don't know if you gentlemen and ladies want to stand, but I think that you should. <laughs> Please. Uh, we had a number of people, obviously, in the film, and some of them are here. Um, I know I saw Cheryl Jacobson in the audience who gave an interview. I'm not going to remember everybody, um, sorry, because I just haven't scanned the faces yet. But um, and Ambassador Doug Kamek is here, I believe. Is he still here? Yes. Ambassador Kamek, was a, you dedicated so much of your time to the story, so thank you very much for your contribution. <laughs> And another gentleman who's not here dedicated a lot of his time is Father Bill. Uh, there's a great point in the film where Father Bill kind of takes five minutes to talk about how when you're the new pastor coming in and the old pastor is still living there, how that could be uh, 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 um, uncomfortable and use all these adjectives. And then he said, but that wasn't the case at all. He was just um, felt very empowered by Monsignor. And Father Bill, through this whole process, has just been, it's been great getting to know him. Um, my partner in life, Charlene, who's here and is part of the process and uh, did a lot of the interviews as well, um, so thank you and thank you for everything. Um, obviously, church is an extension to family and my family is for the most part in Florida. Uh, my sister was actually uh, co-wrote the script, my sister Morgan, who's not here because she has young, young babies. and. Um, couldn't come, but I want to thank my parents and my sister and Charlene's mother is actually here from Florida. So, so thank you for coming. And thank you everybody, I appreciate it.